exciting today. I'm going to use the new TLP color Persephone. When I mess it up, I could not contain my excitement. So I want to do something really simple to, um, you know, let her shine. I'm just mixing. This has been sitting for so long. Now, this is my pillow paint Glidden Essentials eggshell. I do leave it open for two or three days to thicken, but I haven't used it in so long. I had to re uh, mix it. So it will be a little bubbly, but it's looking good. I have a 10 incher here. You can see one of my old sanded ones. I've been on this mission and I'm getting all my old stuff sanded. It actually looks like kind of cool. I could do something well with it. But anyways, um, let's talk colors. I just grabbed whatever I had mixed up. We're going like really pale. We're going triart, rose gold, which is like a silvery rose. One of my favorites. Another favorite, TLP golden peach. Um, I don't know if I'm using this yet. Uh, TLP ball gown, which is a gold interference. And I just mixed up some Payne's gray in my pore medium Amsterdam. So you'll see it's like very just pink and plain and I'm gonna use white cell activator. Let's see what happens if I keep it plain and then we'll kind of go from there. Now, oh, I should have poured this in a little cup to make my life easier. Let's do that. Oh. All right. Uh, mixy mix, mixy mix. Here we go. Yep, 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 there you go. Ooh. Okay. So, let's get her down. It's a little, I should mix up the next round better. So, we have our pillow paint down. What are we doing? How about try our uh, rose gold? Mm-hmm, pretty lady, right? Then we'll do TLP Golden Peach. It's just like pink, you know what I mean? This is like a pinky girl's best friend. Um, oh, I see. We're just doing like a lot of sparkle with, that's ambitious. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just doing a lot of sparkle with one, two, one top and I would never suggest this normally. Okay, Persephone. I don't know if it's gonna work in our favor because of science. So if you have too many sparkles, you don't have enough substance in your two paints to hold them up. Amsterdam, Payne's Gray. God, I can already see this color is awesome. I might have to throw in a few more tubies, we'll see. Especially because my pillow paint's a bit funny. So we'll see. But it just might be very flowy like this color combos to die for. Okay. Australian Floetrol Titanium White. This is so my type of color combo. You can't see the warmth yet, but trust me, pretty, okay? Let's see if I should change my lights to warm. Maybe you'll see better. No, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm just playing with my lights because I want you guys to like see the amazingness there. Oh, I should have done that the whole time. Okay, like have you ever? No, you have not. Okay, get a buble. I love this combo. It would be nice. I'm not gonna have any negative space, unfortunately. But, so, why don't I be crazy and schmooze it? Remember, I schmoozed. Oh, the last time I schmoozed, you guys were like, don't just schmooze one way, schmooze all the ways, and you only schmoozed whatever. Okay, this will just be for fun because then I'm gonna do a one with better lighting anyways. Are you ready? I don't care, but this is gorgeous. I shouldn't ruin it, but I will. 
like, oh my God, look, oh God. I didn't mean to go so crazy. Look what I'm doing. Oh my God, am I a saint? No, I am not a saint. Look at, I'm, oh my God, have you ever? <gasps> I just did it, you guys. Have you ever seen anything as insane as what I just did? I ruined so many pretty things. Let's do it. Because I'm happy with the color combo. So we can, I wanna go a little bigger. Um, you know, to get like a nice flower, negative space. Let me just pop some boob legs. No, okay. Let's see what I did. So now we keep spinning until the paint does not move in the middle. Okay. I don't know. We'll see if you guys like it, but I'm gonna do an oval one too. Don't you worry. Just wanna get rid of those. That's a bad thing, because I just mixed it, so there will be some annoying bubbles popping up, which you just kinda gotta deal with, you know? Okay, so unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to see the beauty until I go to the warm light. Um, so, all right, let's go to the warm light. I don't think I'm gonna keep her. Um, but I wanna show you anyways. Maybe I will, I don't know if you guys like it. We'll see. Um, cool, and then I'm gonna do a normal one. I think I'll go a little bigger. Okay, stay tuned. Sorry, I trashed her. You know why? So, because, I don't know if you noticed in the video, like, the places where I smooshed were very distorted and squiggly. That's because um, my pillow paint was a little thin because it wasn't like thoroughly mixed through. So it distorted in the spin. So either I would schmooze after spinning a few times or make sure this is fully mixed in. I didn't hate it. Tell me what you guys think. I just want to do a normal one, but I didn't go bigger yet because I didn't want to waste this one because as you know, I'm trying to like keep down the waist and only keep things I love. I did like what I did. We're going to do a normal <clears throat> bloom. If you want to schmooze again properly though, okay? Try art rose gold. TLP golden peach. Also, I am putting too much paint to have any negative space, but that's fine. TLP Persephone. Amsterdam, Payne's Gray. Australian Floetrol, Titanium White. Let's see. I had to blow a little funny there because it got caught. So sometimes you gotta do that, you know? Now, I'm going, this is gonna look weird. Just wanted to extend it a little bit, but like, oh, <laughs> I forget I did that. <laughs> look at, right? So I'm gonna spin it a few times and then see if I wanna skewer a little bit. We're not going crazy this time. Yeah. We'll see how it's spinning out, right? It's fine. It's like not super exciting me, to be honest. It's not bad. I think I want Persephone to be more, although she's there, uh, I want her to be more present in her life, you know? Like, she's there, it's pretty, you guys can't see yet. Let's see how much more spinning. Okay, I'll do a few more spins. I'm gonna leave her, because it's like fine. 
It's a bloom. It's fine. Um, I guess, you know, I don't know if I would put this in my house. That's how I judge. Uh, but we'll see, right? I don't know what I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for a little pizzazz, more pizzazz, because she's so pizzazzy. I mean, the cells are nice, and the color's nice. Okay, let me do, yeah, let me do a close-up of this, and then I'm going to pizzazz it up somehow. Be right back. Okay, change of plan. I gotta go with my gut here. When I first mixed it up, I was like, I have to mix it with TLP Velvet, which is the blue interference. You'll see why, okay? And I'm gonna make a custom purpley violet because as you know, or if you do, I don't really have any purples I like from a tube in my little cup here. I put my Bare 8300 and Josonia. You know we don't measure. I have mixing videos. I have measuring exact videos. I have eyeballing videos. All the videos. And I'm going to add just some quinacridone violet. And I don't... I think I want it a little deeper. Let's see. Let's just look at the color first. See how we like it. It has a really... The reason I like it because it does have that violet tone. Um, it might be a little too bright. I want to just add a bit oh, of my Amsterdam Payne's Gray. Let's just see what happens to like knock out some of the brightness because again, I want the Persephone to be the star. Also, I'm going on a dark pillow. We're going black, uh, tricorn black. Let's see what this does. You see it's like deepening that violet that's a really i think a pretty color uh, let's see all right nice i think we're on the right track okay so let's discuss i'm also i think i'm gonna take away the tri art rose gold um let's try on a 10 incher and then we'll see if we want to go bigger Okay, so I have my Sherwin Williams Tricorn Black. Always makes everything better. <laughs> okay, then we will go. Let me just do this. Okay, sometimes it's trial and error, especially like if I really want to um, showcase a color properly, you know? TLP, Golden Peach. Custom, violet, gray violet. TLP, velvet. Just wait. If my vision is correct, just you wait. TLP, Persephone, Persephone. I want a lot of her because she's the star of the show. She's a goddess, right? Okay, and Amsterdam Payne's Gray. Okay. Australian Floetrol. Titanium White. Let me just put her a bit in the middle. Are you ready? Here we go. Aiming is your friend when you blow. The velvet is doing exactly what I thought it would. I don't think you can see it yet in this light that you have, but I think she's gonna work for me. And there you go. Oh, yes. Okay. Pretty. Pretty. Let me pop some more bubbles. 
Oh. Um, popping the bubbles, popping the bubbles. Lacing is pretty. Wow. Just gonna, you know, get her off this edge a bit. Um, wait until you see what happens with that velvet. Maybe you can kind of see it a little bit, but you see that kind of cool undertone that's going on. So there, some, oh yes, absolute mall. That's what it's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I just knew. You know why I knew? Because remember, I don't know if you know, uh, I, I made a color called Velvety Magents where I mixed TLP Velvet into magenta and it was just like this epic pairing. And that's what I thought would happen here. And alas, we were correct. Okay, I wanna do one more thing just for fun, but I'm happy with this because I hope you guys are when you see it in a light. Um, we'll do one more fun thing, but she's pretty. Okay, be right back. Okay, last one. I want to do just a dainty little bloom vine. This is an eight incher. I'm doing the exact same colors. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I just want to be really dainty with her to see what happens. You know, I think this color combo is for me anyways, because I like, you know, my pinks and the bomb. So we're going dainty. We have TLP golden peach. You know, it's hard for me to be dainty. Okay, we're going like super small. Then we're going with my custom violet gray. We'll go this way. Right? Yes. Okay. Then velvet. We love. Okay. Then the start. Persephone, let's go this way. I want to make sure you do a lot. Um, and then a little bit of the... Now, if I wasn't going to bloom at all, I would just like schmooze them, make leaves, and do something pretty. But maybe we'll do a bit of a bloom. And then I'm just going to do like a small amount of cell activator and the rest just like schmoozing the colors together. So the goal isn't cells, it's more fun shapes. Let's see. So I'm gonna stop here, I'm not gonna continue the cells. Okay, now this is where we can schmooze for fun, but first I am gonna spin it out a little bit um, to fix her up. Hopefully it will look nice. My vision will come true. Doesn't look like much yet, but don't worry. We'll fix you. Let's see which way she wants to spin out first. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue spinning one more time, and then I'm going to schmoosh her. Okay. So, oh, I didn't even, I don't. Okay. So now, let's make nice, nice a shape. <laughs> um, I guess I'll get like this. So remember, we're still spinning some off. 
but I didn't want wonky lines like I got the last time. Cause I usually do spin a few times before I do this. So I'm trying not to touch the bottom. Try not to drag anything. Okay. And I'm kind of just like making a vine looking flower thing, you know? It's a cute little thing. I don't need to touch it too much. And it's going to shift a little bit as I spin because my paint is a bit thicker. But let's see. Right? She's looking cute. You see what I mean? Very dainty. And okay, let's see. I'm going to spin gently because I still do want some black on this side. I can stretch her out this way. The colors just are so cute, you know? It does take a bit of restraint for me doing it this way, but. Oh, so pretty. So I'm just kind of stretching it sideways to make her bigger. Right? Like, she's kind of cute and dainty. Uh, I don't know how much paint we got left. I probably should have even waited a little longer to schmooze her. I'm still tilting, but I'll fix whatever like wonky lines there are. Okay, so um, like you see how these start to get wonk these started to get a little wonky, which really we don't like. I have a problem with wonky in general. Wonky cells, wonky lines. No one wants to look at wonky things, right? But we are, there we go, making it look less wonky. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy Persephone. I'm gonna show you in the light. Um, let me know, I mean, we did so many things today just because I <laughs> wanted to make sure we got the full picture. I super smooshed. I did it on white base. Did it on dark base. Did a bloom vine. You've seen her in all of her glory. Tell me uh, which one did you enjoy the most while I have some fun doing this. Um, have a good day. I love you guys. Bye-bye.